adventure, exploring new places, the private time we spend with friends and family, on many occasions we desire to do so while wrapped in luxury, with everyone experiencing the pampering they deserve, with not just world-class service, but the best the globe has to offer. We seek a sanctuary and a setting to recharge and in a place that feels safe to unwind, for a time to revive. I'm Will Nofsinger with Dennis and Yachting, and today we're here in my office in Miami. We began our journey recently south through the Windward Islands to the island of Martinique to introduce you properly to Motor Yacht Revive. This 150 was delivered new in 2013 for the owner of Richmond Yachts himself. Revive represents hull number seven from the famed Canadian builder and is Richmond's final build. They took all the best features the previous six builds had to offer and combined them into what's possibly the perfect, classically styled 150-foot motor yacht. The forward-facing seating area for guests in the bow, an air-conditioned engine room and bilges, a helicopter-capable sun deck, which by the way resulted in possibly the most spacious aft deck I've come across in a classic style yacht. Out the gate of this walkthrough, let's take a moment to note that comfort was paramount and that the details were clearly important during the build and attention was given to them whenever possible. Being that this is the queen of this builder's fleet, nothing was overlooked. For a keen buyer who appreciates intricacies, it's gonna be noticed. So with that, let's get started with our walkthrough up here high in the clouds of the Skybridge. This level, all the way up here closest to the sun, typically sees the most action. Behind me is a primary feature, the yacht's 10-person jacuzzi. Surrounded as it should be by plush cushion loungers to revitalize while absorbing the sun-drenched vitamins you're getting from above. As we work aft on this deck, from the cocktail table loungers, we see a teak top full service bar. The sweet intoxicants won't be found in just beverage form. This sun palace is gonna whisk you away with surreal sunsets and backdrops from the most pristine beaches and scenery in the world. Working further aft brings us to freestanding loungers and way, way more importantly, all the toy storage you're ever gonna need. Up here, we see two Yamaha VX Series Wave Runners, a tender, and more. All can be dropped for your enjoyment by a 2,500 pound steelhead marine davit. It was mentioned before and is important to note again that this deck is capable of receiving a helicopter and acting as your yacht's helipad. Once emptied of all the toys, this area also makes for a pretty killer driving range. A flight of teak stairs takes us to our next stop. This is where a majority of your world-class meals will take place. A gorgeous centerline teak table beckons you. Aft of here is an outdoor lounging area with freestanding furniture. Found at this level centerpiece are going to be sunset riddled dinners. With nights, the libations will have a hard time drowning out. Forward into starboard is a teak serving area with wet bar and stainless steel refrigerator. On the wall above, a 50 inch Sunbright TV. All the way port are stairs taking us to the lower aft deck. We'll check out that area later. For now, let's head through the floor to ceiling automatic glass doors and check out the Sky Lounge. This is likely where you'll find yourself the most often relaxing while watching movies or playing on the Xbox on the biggest TV possible a 90 inch sharp television. To starboard is the primary bar of the entire vessel. Affixed with a beautiful onyx countertop and properly appointed for all your yacht's events. Immediately to port is a gaming table with an L-shaped sofa just beyond. Across the room 
is the sofa, making this a wonderful conversation pit to enjoy friends and family during the heat of the day. As we continue forward to port, we reach a meeting room. This is a versatile area that could be used for many things, including a kid's playroom. Across from this, we have the Level's day head. Across from the day head is a dedicated captain's quarters. This quarter has been outfitted to potentially act as your sixth stateroom aboard and has been appointed accordingly. Heading forward, we reach the yacht's pilot house. On display is an expansive array of electronics with eight 15 inch screens. There is more than enough here to navigate the globe and it's entirely too much for us to cover in full. So please contact me anytime to gather a full list and a complete rundown. And head with me towards the bow. As our feet transition back to Teak, I'll highlight two key design features making this Richmond stand out from the rest. Aft raking pilot house windows deliver a more pleasing profile appearance and an all important must have modern entertaining and observation area. This little game changer gives you the most intimate of settings for those once in a lifetime sunsets you'll be catching all the time. Talk about being revived. This is a private retreat where you can be one with the stars or perhaps the one sitting next to you. I've personally anchored out on this yacht. I've seen her capabilities and I've experienced her on the hook. In order to see some of the best and most isolated locations on earth, you're gonna be using both mirror cap stands to handle the stainless steel anchors that make it all possible. From here, we're gonna take the teak laden path to starboard that brings us all the way aft. These decks provide ample width to safely walk and our gunnel heights give a feeling of security in rough seas. Our next stop is the aft deck. This space is ideal for both greeting your guests and entertaining. The aft deck is expansive and one of the best in class. It was designed to be large with the idea of entertaining in mind. It will accommodate loads of guests with no lines at the bar. This wide open space features bar stools and a drop down TV. From here, we can head aft down a teak laden staircase to access her swim platform, a space ideal for dropping your floating dock systems in the water and preparing all your toys. In Revive, she can carry a lot of toys. Sea bobs, jet skis, a rib inflatable, and much more. And let's not forget about the 39 Venture she tows. That's the go-to fishing machine aboard for the owner. And fishing, well, that's a lifestyle here aboard Motor Yacht Revive. Heading back up and indoors, let's check out the formal salon. This Patrick Knowles interior is simply gorgeous. It was completed in 2019 and cost nearly a million dollars. Appointed exquisitely, the furniture, the decor. This space is so well dressed, you have to see it to truly appreciate it. There's even a self-playing Yamaha piano in the corner. Heading forward past the concealed pop-up TV brings us to the yacht's formal indoor dining area. It's capable of seating as many as 12 guests and has more than ample space for servers to feel comfortable dishing out the finest meals of your life. An automatic door is conveniently located between the dining room and the galley. The next stop on today's tour will be just that, a quick run through on the commercial galley. The galley of Revive, like all yachts this size, is a legitimate, full-blown commercial kitchen, just as it should be. But this one 
It was designed by a man who owns more than a few high-end restaurants. And here, you're certain to find more than just a self-titled chef on hand. This area was outfitted with true stainless steel door refrigerators and freezers, decor cooktop, ovens, and microwave. There's also a commercial grade ice machine, GE trash compactor, and so much more. Four of this are the crew quarters, and we're gonna to touch base on this a little bit later in today's walkthrough. Instead, let's head back through the formal dining room to port into the main foyer. Here are stairs back to the upper salon or down to the four guest room accommodations. For now, we'll continue through the foyer, past the ship's wine cellar and towards the master stateroom. As we do so, located to starboard is our on-deck day head. Heading further to where the marble flooring ends, we reach two double doors, the main entrance to our master stateroom. This incredible stateroom is ideally situated in a space that maximizes both volume and privacy. Stepping beyond brings us to a well-designed and elegant yet warm stateroom. Transitioning to carpet beneath our feet, we look forward and are greeted by beautiful woodwork and a private lounging area. This consists of a built-in entertainment system with Samsung 46-inch screen TV. Below are two Sub-Zero refrigerators for your beverage of choice for you to enjoy while relaxing in peace. Continuing forward brings us to a king-size bed, located center line of the room with dressers to starboard, a makeup vanity to port, and a full entertainment system concealed by cabinetry complete with a 60-inch HD TV. To the port side, you will find a large walk-in cedar line closet with plenty of storage and drawers. The room is flooded with natural light from the oversized windows, providing you with panoramic views of the ocean blue and seascapes in the outside world's paradise. Four to the bed are his and her onyx laced bathrooms, complete with a shower, steamer, and luxurious jacuzzi tub. The custom onyx marble vanity and flooring are one of a kind and show a level of sophistication and elegance that is simply immeasurable. From here, let's head back to the main foyer and take the stairs down to the guest level accommodations. Descending the main foyer stairwell to the lower decks yields access to the four guest staterooms. Three of these staterooms feature true queen-size beds. Every stateroom is a Four Seasons caliber, having built-in entertainment systems with HD TVs, controls for movies on demand, and beautifully appointed ensuite baths with exotic marble and stunning granite countertops. And the fourth guest room is outfitted with a twin side-by-side -side configuration. Let's head down to the engine room for our final stops on today's walkthrough. Down here brings us first to the engineer's control room. This space has been designated for the ship's engineer to monitor all the ship's vitals. Here, he can see the tank levels, check bilges, and watch for any and all alarms, amongst much more. From here, let's head forward through a watertight bulkhead into the engine room. Today's final stop, where we'll end with some technical information. Motor Yacht Revive finds her ideal cruising range at around 9 to 10 knots. Here, it's reported by the captain that we're burning around 35 to 45 gallons per hour, including generators. At this speed, we can travel roughly 2,600 miles. It is important to note that dropping speed slightly will achieve a maximum range of 3,000 nautical miles. At the request of the crew, we're unable to show the crew quarters on today's walkthrough. We are, after all, on a full-blown charter.
Thanks for joining us on today's walkthrough with Dennis and Yachting. I'm Will Knopfsinger and it's been an absolute pleasure having you on board. If you have any further questions about Motor Yacht Revive or you're interested in chartering her, please feel free to contact me anytime and you can always find me online at Yachtslinger.